it's day six and this is Boris. Hello Boris. Boris is a very fine cat and he's hosting me um, for a stay here in um, Fangarai, uh, which is um, quite a nice place. But um, the weather is all a bit Welsh today, which makes the palm tree seem all the more odd. So having uh, met Boris the cat this morning, uh, we're now in um, Fangarai, which begin, begins with a WH. Checking uh, out the impressive uh, waterfalls behind me. It is raining today. It's not sunny every day in paradise, but um, a lovely spot. And we're only a few minutes from the city centre. It's um, yeah, wow. So I'll have a look around at a few more things that Fangarai has to offer. Now we're at um, a uh, kiwi house, and that is a kiwi. Uh, we did go to watch them being fed, but that was in the dark, so I couldn't really see them. Um, I'm particularly interested also in the mole pork, which appears to be a little owl. In fact, inspired Terry Pratchett, and I've heard tuis singing in the trees, um, proper songbirds. Uh -huh. Wow. That's uh, the skyline above Fangarai tonight. Uh, that is a, a, an ex-volcano there in the middle as we look down on the town from up here on high. Uh, the ocean is out that way beyond the palm. Oh gosh, this is also very, very lovely. I don't want to leave really. Another beautiful day in Fongaray and uh, if you can just see just there, I'm sorry I can't zoom in, mobiles aren't very good at that sort of thing. That's the fish hook bridge um, opening up so the yacht um, can go through. Um, British designed bridge apparently and um, yeah I, I love the detail, the fact that you've got these giant fish hooks because this would have been a prime fishing port back in the day. It must be said, um, Fungaray doesn't have the um, best reputation. Um, it was a bit of a grotty town for a long time, but there is so much investment going on, so much interesting stuff going on uh, in the town. And uh, we're gonna have a bit of a look at it now. Um, we're up to day seven of this trip so far. I'm having a, a bit more of a relaxing time. Um, stopping in a, a very lovely house here, owned by a hub nutter and uh, yeah it's been absolutely beautiful i'm not going to show you the house because that doesn't seem entirely fair um, but yeah i'm very grateful to the generosity of people who've given up um, bed space and living space indeed on this trip uh, today i'm heading up to um, parahi uh, which is um, in the uh, bay of islands so it sounds like a very pretty spot so we're going to be heading up there later on today but first we'll do some more exploring around Fungaray. So here we are down in um, Fongarai town as one of the big um, intercity coaches over there. Um, a Mercedes Sprinter ambulance, just like at home. Uh, uh, but if we spin round, we've got a Toyota Will. Um, one of the oddest looking cars ever. I mean, Toyota has such a reputation for blandness, but it's hard to believe they can make something quite so odd. Clearly inspired by the Citroen Ami 6, I think. Uh, remarkable looking car. And over here, Ford Laser, uh, which I believe is a Mazda 323 under the skin, but was produced to effectively be the Australian Escort. If we come around the back here, that's what one of those looks like. Quite unusual the way the rear lights come sliding in. So yeah, there's an interesting mix of vehicles here. Lots, lots of modern cars, but not that many European ones, unless you include the Nissan Qashqai, nice BMW E30, driving around in the background there. RAV4s are plenty here. It's um, all quite interesting. But there's a rare Renault, and I think that might be a Toyota Glanza up the back there, or is it just a posh Starlet? It's got the funky rear lights. 
starlet carrot. So the starlet carrot has these um, different rear lights, um, a funkier interior, and I think a posh grill on the front. Oh yes. So there you go, a Toyota Starlet. We've added poshness. Right, um, I'm not here to just walk around the car park. So, um, a nice Subaru there. A type of Impreza I've not seen before. Um, so um, yeah, let's go and have a walk around. So this is Rayburn House, um, historic house and art gallery. Uh, it's a bit of a sculpture park going on um, along here different things going on but this is one of the original sort of old buildings here in uh, New Zealand so that really does date right back uh, to the earliest days of New Zealand as a nation uh, lovely ornate woodwork going on uh, very characterful but of course unlike the UK you can't go back hundreds and hundreds of years the earliest New Zealand history is sort of late 1800s uh, so it's uh, a slightly different vibe going on. Uh, so yeah, there's a sculpture, a nice seat in the middle of it. Uh, fantastic trees, all marvellously different. Here's some of the more interesting camper van stock. It's a Nissan Civilian. Uh, quite an interesting thing. I don't know if they're built as campers or originally built as buses. Um, very industrial things. Uh, here's a slightly different one with pantograph wipers. Uh, a proper bus window, Nissan Cube next to it. Well, that was incredible. Just had a chat with the people in the camper van, the Hino there with the pantograph wipers, and just give me this beautiful hand painted shell to take away. I think I like New Zealand very, very much. So, we've come down for a closer look at the um, Fish Hook Bridge and uh, this is not just for style, effectively you've got counterweights there so the whole thing can tip up to let the boats through. We don't think any boats are um, due imminently so we probably won't get a demonstration at such close quarters, especially not while some bloke's cleaning it with a jet wash. Uh, there's also interesting lighting um, at car height across the bridge so at night you get little traces of light chasing across the bridge. It's um, really quite funky and just part of the fun here at Fangarai. And uh, if we pan around, the um, Holden versus Ford battle is in full sway here. This um, mean looking um, GT and uh, Holden sitting beyond. So here we've got a Nissan Atlas, uh, which we got in the UK as the cab star. We didn't get the funky extra side window. Um, but yeah, I can't remember the last time I saw a Nissan Cabstar. Um, struggling with the strong light as usual down here. Quite funky. There's a Mazda truck there next to a Hilux Surf or a pair of Hilux Surfs. Toyota Caldina there, uh, which we got as the Aventis. Uh, that's a Caldina GT, quite a bit more potent. But yeah, all of this is kind of brand new. It's been open a month. So Fungari is definitely um, a town on the rise. Um, there's a lot of investment going on here at the moment uh, as the Holden comes into view there. Sort of like an Omega but sort of bigger and more different. Uh, and uh, that's another one there I think in the Burgundy. It's very nice here in Fongarai. I thoroughly recommend the place. Look at that. Ford lasers are plenty and Mazdas and all sorts. Well here's a bit of an oddity for you. I'm trying to work out what this is. Three litre four, which I'm guessing four wheel drive, a Kluger. Uh, I've never heard of a Toyota Kluger before, but that is apparently what one is. It's like the odd boxy thing. Since I've got here, there have just been so many Toyotas, I do not have a clue what they are. Uh, I'm amazed at the niche products Toyota has in its range. Uh, it's quite extraordinary. And now we've come to Clapham's National Clock Museum uh, to look at so many clocks. Quite extraordinary. Let's um, have a look at some of the um, really old ones.
I guess you really don't want them all set to exactly the same time. That can get um, noisy. So these are some really old clocks that date from the 1830s, I think they said. This one's an extraordinary old birds move when it's operated. These ones have scary eyes. that yeah so Clapham's National Clock Museum definitely worth visiting Yeah, you can pay for your tunes. <laughs> You're running Excuse out me. hiding over there. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to star in a video. Yep, yep. <laughs> So we're just at a viewpoint just past Nunaru and um, it's um, absolutely beautiful. So these trees could do we've been trimmed a bit but um, yeah wow what a landscape 
and uh, I'm actually stood up in something of a turret at the moment uh, so we're some way off the ground and uh, amusingly there's a little pink chair here should I feel the need to have a sit down tiny tiny chair blimey it's time to um, say goodbye to Fangarai um, and we're going to make my way further up the coast to the Bay of Islands which I'm looking forward to but if we just pan around, the, the BX has been sat here for a couple of days now uh, gently leaking LHM by the look of it typical Citroen um, and covered in dust after our gravel road excursions but um, I'm sure all will be fine um, so yeah, we're going to push on north so I'll end this video now and say thank you very much for watching subscribe if you wish visit the store at hubnut.org if you wish and we shall see you in a future video farewell